Hi, how are you? My name is Kate. Welcome to my channel. And today I will be sharing to you the summary and book review with many spoiler. I hope I don't do that much spoiler uh, of the book, second book of Ali Hazelwood from the series Steminis. And it's called Stuck With You stuck with you so this is only a short book um reading it was only like for four hours and before i go with the book summary and a little bit of book review i will read to you some of the details from my book review journal so this was narrated by meg sylvan um the series number two currently on audible it has 4.4 star it was published last year the main characters are sadie hannah and Mara from the previous book that I just reviewed and Eric um, the male lead and Gianna the boss of um, Sadie it was published June 7 and it's a story of a uh, second chance and I actually like this because it has like a recollection of the what happened and three weeks ago and what is currently happening now so every chapter it says three weeks ago and then present time something like that um it was about being an engineering uh, that's why i kind of like alisa wood and i can no longer count how many times i've said that i love her stem please apologies for the creaky chair that i have so i will now begin with the summary and if you do not like spoiler kindly move to a different channel and so on so uh, basically she is an engineer she is the second book the first book was mara now sadie and the follow-up will be hannah so she's an engineer in new york she works on eco uh, environmental friendly ecosystem friendly and so on and so forth and she worked for a small startup business that builds construction um, focusing mainly on eco-friendly environment friendly materials and how to sustain it on the other hand eric is from a big time company who uh, works on old school engineering stuff but right now they are trying to break through to the um, environment friendly materials and structure um sadie 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 wants um to go to a restaurant no actually a bakery to buy croissant because every time she has a pitch she believes in the myth or magic that whenever she buy croissants it always help her land the project or sign the contract so one day she went downstairs to buy the croissant but unfortunately there's no more left and she was begging the baker to please sell it to me when will you have it and out of nowhere a croissant pop up into the counter and the seller said oh eric bought the last one after that eric left she chased eric and because eric looks like a viking god a demigod blonde blue eyes tall she's around six six four because she's she's six four and mar uh, sadie is just around five feet because she said didn't exceed five feet and she catch her him and she said thank you for the croissant yada yada but because he looks like a viking um sadly thought that he doesn't speak english so it was funny how they had their first conversation their first talk and then when there was a skater he accidentally nearly bumped into sadie but um eric saved him and after that they had a great chemistry great conversation within 24 hours they had a great talk about football hermit about uh, purple and uh, croissant and matter of fact she started to think like she liked eric and she was hoping that eric will take him on a date to eric's favorite uh, croissant restaurant end of the story and then after that the night of that day they went out to eric's uh, favorite croissant place and he paid for the bill and they went to the ice cream salon they eat ice cream and when it's about late eric um 
said i will drive you she gave a fake address so that it will be longer but at the same time it has a toll fee of 17 us dollar and eric said much better and she was saying you have to pay 17 dollar one way for the toll fee but she's he said it's okay just to be with you longer but um sadie said why don't i go to your apartment they went to his apartment they met the orange cut of the younger brother of eric and she was the one who made the first move and when they are in the hallway she was the one who said let's go to your bedroom and when they are finally naked she noticed that eric is so big she came to her senses that she just met eric within 24 hours already in his apartment and she got scared she panicked but eric was so gentle they had a little conversation and everything went well that's the past now on the present she was in elevator and out of nowhere it went to a floor eric went in a few minutes later they got stuck in elevator because there was an electricity problem in the entire um, block so while they are in the elevator sadie was having claustrophobia and eric was taking care of her and so on and so forth um eric is apologizing but sadie thought that um i i hate you i do not forgive you and so forth and then eric was asking like why would you like you know questions questions and questions and about after that the plot twist taken and there was a switch so apparently he thought that sadie was mad at him because there was an issue on their first one night stand because he's too big but the thing is sadie was actually mad at him because sadie did not land the pitch or the project the new project that she will have because gianna told her that eric is trying to buy her company and that she's trying to poach the workers or employees and that she shouldn't be trustworthy with eric because of this of that of that and then sadie had miscommunication it was her fault and so forth until when eric confessed everything she understood that eric wasn't doing a bad thing it was actually all her fault there was many plot twists and character development that i can no longer speak because it's part of the book but overall after that confession of eric and hers also getting to understand what really happened finding out that eric had a different reason why she he thought that she was mad and her actually being mad not at eric's fault and for so many reasons she got confused the electricity went back she went home eric was left to check the elevator issue and his people because he was like the partner the main owner of the big company and when she arrived at home sadie facetime hannah and mara where she was told the truth that it was her fault that it was her miscommunication that it was her issue but she got scared that she ruined everything so um they ended up the call wherein she came to her senses fully admit that she loved eric and that she wants to be with him but when she opened the door at 1 a.m in his in her apartment she found eric in there and eric showed him his phone showed the evidence that what he he was telling him and the elevator was real uh the plot twist the it's amazing 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 stuff and then she gave her phone to eric and eric found out the reason of her passcode and she fell for him more and then um she asked eric to unblock his name and they um trust they made love end of the story <laughs> without divulging too much so that was um stuck with you so basically it's a very good uh super good series it was only a short novel but i love it so much it's not that long direct to the point there was plot twist and character development i really like it a lot so now we will discuss with the likes
like. I like that she uh, believes in the meat in the purple I'm wearing purple because of that <laughs> on the meat on the purple I like how Eric was very respectful kind and patience with her because she admitted to herself that she was lunatic lunatic she's problematic she has trauma because she is so used being with her ex for the longest time since second year high school and her third year of post grad and that's also the same reason why she has commitment issue or trust issue i also like how mara and hannah were very honest with her made her realize her mistake what she is doing and so forth and so on i also like how um she was an empowered woman how she was pro uh, environment pro earth and then i also like that um, Eric was actually starting also or changing the route of his company to be pro friendly and I like how Eric approached say this problem in a very mature he immediately proposed a resolution to those two companies which is actually very very nice I also like how Eric um, keep every single detail and remember them despite Sadie being like you know this problematic dislike i dislike how gianna the boss although she was like one of the main plot twists well she's the plot twist she's the plot twist she does not have the detail yet ruin sadie and eric's relationship i think that she was nice but actually is a toxic boss just because she doesn't have evidence yet ruins someone's relationship and then on top of that when eric came to visit sadie on their floor she said to eric i don't think she wants to see you and so eric started contacting hannah making things right second i also don't like how um sadie treated eric like she said i will wait for you but she left like okay okay i also didn't like how hannah literally a small problem made it big just because she was scared just because of miscommunication but other than that, I love everything. I love the voice, the story, and I love really the character. It's just easy, happy and easy. So that's why I gave this rating like five and the spice is two. Actually, this has more spice than the previous book that is under one roof. So I highly recommend this book. I hope you also enjoy the book because I love it so much. And thank you so much for listening. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next book. Bye-bye.